SpongeBob SquarePants. Obviously, your parents in Crazy Palace 5 shows I didn't kill you all. Why you? Wait, where's your arms? Ha, huh, I'm all the way up here. What you gonna do now, torso boy? Ha, huh, you missed. You missed again. Aw, oh, come on, is that all you got? Ooh, catching on. Try this on for size. did I transform into a turtle? <laughs> it's not funny! <laughs> Patrick? Why are you too funny? I don't know. Exactly. I have no arms, remember? That's great. Are you sure you will stop playing? Ah, uh, breakfast. Hello? <laughs> I'm hanging up. I know what you did last week. Excuse me? I saw you. Who is this? I called you down. Hey man, you don't have to do that. Listen, man, I don't know who you are, but I swear, I didn't do it. Oh, I will. What are you talking about? I'm completely innocent. I would never feed a dog chocolate. I don't even like dogs. Then that's the perfect reason why you should feed a dog chocolate, isn't it? I would never harm an animal. I love animals. I'm a vegetarian. <laughs> Wait a minute. Who is in a bite not far to see? Oh, SpongeBob! Maybe eat once again. I see you found your arms. Gary was hiding them in his shell. That's gross. That's not gross. Snails are very clean creatures. Still, that's gross. Ah! <coughs> oh, my favorite shirt! You're gonna pay for that! <coughs> oh, come on! You did this last time! <coughs> Seriously, get real here, man. The viewers are gonna get bored of you and your laser. Obviously, he didn't get it. You're not supposed to look at the camera. You're not my mama. Now look what you've done.
stop. Don't hurt him. Where do you come from? Uh, I have no idea. But still, don't hurt him. Because my job is my best buddy and has a wonderful job at the Krusty Krab and uh... What are you going to get? I don't know. I've never had anything but Krabby Patties. The McChicken is good. I'm going to get that minus the mayo. Do they have kelp fries? Nope, just french fries. They're imported from France? No, I really don't know why we call them that. They're still good though. I'm glad we're having this truce lunch together. Yeah, whatever. If Patrick shows up, I'm going to fire a laser on him. Hey! Hey, I'm joking. Dang. Welcome to McDonald's, Mr. Jackson. How may I help you? I'll have a medium caramel frappe, a McChicken rolled the mayo, large drink, and a cookie. And you, Mr. Squarepants? Um... Uh, uh, oh, this is so exciting. I'm a big fan of you guys. Thank you kindly. Michael! Huh? Can I please have your autograph? <laughs> sure. Okay. I mean, thanks, Michael. No problem, kid. Oh no! You're doing it wrong. Constantly flip the patty. Don't just sit there. You idiot! You get us arrested, cheesehead. Quit embarrassing me and sit down before I change my mind and use you to clean my toilet. But he wasn't cooking it right. I don't care. He'll have a happy meal. This hamburger is so tiny and flat. The meat is so thin. If you don't like it, get the Angus Deluxe or something. Whoa! What? Is that President Obama? I'm still not giving him a hug. What? Hey, can I try that? Try what? That drink you're sipping on. My frappe? Yeah. Okay, we just made a truce about two days ago. Do you honestly think I'm gonna share my lunch with you? Yes. Okay. Whoa! I declare this drink is the greatest thing ever invented by man! Hey! Give me that! No way! Get your own! Give me my drink! I guess I don't have to hit you. Oh really? Why? Soviet Russia, Sponge hits himself and Michael Jackson doesn't need a fight in front of children. Ah! The truce is over! I finally got you! In the face! Are you alright, Michael? Do you need me to get you anything? I'm okay, just, just... Just let me sit here for a minute. Did you laser his face? SpongeBob, you're mean. What did Michael ever do to you? Do you need me to call the police, Mr. Jackson? No police. I can make you another frappe free of charge if you'd like. No thanks, I've lost my appetite. Are you okay, Michael? I'm glad you're okay. Sorry about the frappe thing, really. Outside. But I haven't finished my- Now. Oh, this is exciting. I can't believe we're watching these two in person. <coughs> I know, I was gonna watch the first episode on YouTube when my shift ends, but I don't need to now. Turn him into 
into a mattress. No, I want him to fill the play place with bubbles. Bubbles? I love bubbles. Hey, Patrick, can you move, please? You hurt my friend for the last time, honey. Prepare to meet your maker, Johnson. It's Jackson. Whatever. Holy cannoli! Don't worry, Michael! I'll save you! Fizz, what are you doing here? I was saving you. Flattered as I am, I don't need saving from a soda can. Michael, you really done it this time. I'm gonna get you for what you did to Patrick. I didn't tie him up. Why do you keep on blaming me for everything that happens around here? You're a troublemaker, that's why. No, I'm not. You started half the time. You're such a crybaby. Leave Michael alone. Didn't do anything. Keep out of this. Ahem. Excuse me. Lady Gaga? In the flesh. What are you doing here? I was taking a nap until you all woke me up. I couldn't take it anymore, so I marched over here. What's going on? This is for some reason it's happening, then Fizz over here came in, and I don't want him to get hurt. From beating Michael up. Stop this now, please. You're giving me a brain ache. I've heard of this little feud between you and Spongebob. How you two started fighting is beyond understanding. How did this begin? How did this all start? No one knows why, Michael. Well, uh, do I have to start from the beginning? Yep. <sighs> it all started at the wishing well in Neverland. I was at the well and tossed a coin. Then, out of nowhere, this face emerged. Before I knew what happened, this thing fired his laser and I was knocked out cold. When I woke up, I was floating. At first I thought I was dead, but I was far from it. I was flying the way I always imagined wanting to, just like Peter Pan in those storybooks. I flew and I flew until I reached the ocean. Then, something hit me in the head. I, I swear it was a coconut or something like that. I fell into the water and floated down in front of Spongebob's house. The last thing I remembered was laying on his couch. He introduced himself and was kind enough to show me around this town. He took me to this place called the Krusty Krab. He hands me something that resembled an American cheeseburger, but it was called a Krabby Patty. I took a bite and spat her right back out. It was the nastiest thing I had ever tasted. For some reason, he really decided he didn't like my reaction. He attacked me with his powers right there in the restaurant. That's how it all started. So, wait. You guys started fighting and hating each other over a sandwich? It's not just a sandwich. It's the greatest food in the known universe. And he tarnished its name, insulting my cooking, therefore he had to pay. Didn't you put into consideration human taste buds may be different than a fish's taste buds? You left out one thing. Spongebob, how did you get your powers? Oh, that. I went over to visit Sandy the day before Michael showed up. She was working with nuclear technology and I actually slipped into radioactive waste. Soon after I chased Michael off, I got really sick and started to fight off lung and kidney cancer. At least I got those superpowers. You're a cancer survivor. You're such a brave, brave person. Yeah, now get off me. Hey, is that who I think it is? Yeah, I think it is. Michael! Fans, it's 6 o'clock. Michael, I saw you guys leave McDonald's and wanted to make sure you were all right. I see you're no longer tied up. Oh, ha ha, you keep laughing. Hey, Fizz, what kind of soda are you? I've always wondered. Cola, Sprite? Root beer. Um. Okay, people, wrap it up. Patrick, fans are very important. You must understand that. All I know is they are between me, you, and our fight. I don't want to fight you, Patrick. Then we will fight for Michael's honor. No, d don't fight for me. You leave Michael alone, you meanie. <laughs> Okay, okay, now this is funny. No, it's not. Get off my best friend. Hey, I was 
was wondering if you could have this. A coconut? Aw, I just can never get these things open. Stop it, coconut! It was you! Threw that coconut at me when I was flying above the ocean. You're the reason behind all this. Uh oh. I'm gonna get you, you eight ounce can of life ruining madness! I'm gonna sell you a low arm carcass and buy a new pair of shoes! You get him, Michael. No, Michael shouldn't be hurting him. Why not? Because it was a total accident. He shouldn't get punished for something he couldn't control. Yeah, he should be fighting me, not that aluminum piece of junk. He deserves it! You made Michael meet you. If that hadn't happened, we wouldn't be in this mess. But if he hadn't met Michael, then we wouldn't be here. Yeah, if it wasn't for SpongeBob starting the fight, we wouldn't have something to brighten our day. Save me! Oh, don't worry. I'm not gonna hurt you. That's it. Michael, you shouldn't be mad at Fizzbiz at all for what he had done. If anything, he helped you. Help me? Gaga, I now know you are from a different world now. That is the last thing he's done for me. Don't you see? You two fighting is what brought everyone together. Without your feud, certain people wouldn't have even met. You must cherish your love-hate relationship. Let me show you what I mean. Give me some room! I weigh 130 pounds. I don't take that much space, you giant cereal box. Then quit elbowing me. Shh. I took you here for a reason. Watch. Shadow, sit down.